So in this video, I want to explore what complex numbers look like on an Argand diagram, specifically looking at the complex conjugate, um, the sum and the difference. Okay? So you can see the relationship that they have to vectors when we're looking at the Argand diagram. So I've got an Argand diagram ready. I'm trying to be fairly accurate here because we're trying to pinpoint um, parallel uh, vectors here. So first of all, let's have a look at Z1 and Z1 star. So 1 plus 3i, so 1 plus 3i would be up here. Okay, so let's draw that as a vector, like so. Right, so that's Z1. And then we want uh, the complex conjugate of Z1, so 1 take away 3i. So 1 take away 3i down here. OK. So what you need to pinpoint here, and what you need to understand, is that a complex, com uh, complex number and its complex conjugate okay, will be reflections of one another in the real axis okay, on an Argand diagram. So that is how you need to visualise them. So let's take a look at number two now. So I don't need uh, Z1 star, so I can get rid of that. I'll keep the Z1 though. Right, so Z2 is 4 plus i. So 4 long and 1 up. So... Okay. So Z2, 4 plus i. Okay, so I've got Z1 and Z2 represented there. So Z1 plus Z2, so if we worked that out, we'd have 1 plus 4, so 5, and 3i plus i is 4i. So 5 plus 4i. So 5 along and 4 up. Right, let's see what that would be. I'll be about there. Okay. So there is Z1 plus Z2. So 5 plus 4i. Now, what I want you to uh, understand and see from that is that Z1 plus Z2 is the same as getting your Z1 and then picking up and adding Z2 physically, adding it onto the end. Because if you join up Z1 with Z1 plus Z2, that vector that you've got there is precisely the same as that one there. Okay? So you effectively get this parallelogram if you want to visualise it like that, because Z2 plus Z1, okay, will get you to the desired result as well. So together you form this parallelogram. Let's take a look at number three. So let's just erase the bits I don't need. So I'll have to rewrite that one. that. That's Z1. Okay, so Z1 take away Z2, the difference. So 1 take away 4 is minus 3. 3i take away i is 2i. So minus 3 plus 2i. So minus 3, we want to add on 2i, so that be there. And our result looks like this. So that is Z1 take away Z2. OK, so how do you visualize that? Well, there's your Z1, and you're taking away Z2. So you're going back on yourself. So from there to there, OK? 
From there to there is z2. From there to there is minus z2. So z1 take away z2 gets you to the desired result. Okay, And so this is very much like adding together vectors. In fact, it's working in an identical way okay, to get that triangle forming. So that's how you can visualize the sum and difference and also the complex conjugate of a complex number on an Argand diagram.